take Apple Pay. I can't find my card right now. Oh, 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 oh. Hey y'all, so it is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Oh, it's actually May 1st as well. So welcome to a new month. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I talked to you guys was Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. I'm about to start filming, which is why y'all see. Oh, well, I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, the lights are on. But um, the last time I talked to you guys was Wednesday. Yeah, and then Thursday, I didn't vlog at all because I just was not... I wasn't in the mood and then friday i tried to film i just filmed some thumbnail clips because i take um screenshots of my videos for my thumbnails so i did that yesterday and i also got some um clips of my hair because i really like how my hair has been looking for the past couple days after i revived my hair with my dry shampoo and stuff i did make a video on that so that's what i was doing i was just filming in general yesterday because the videos that i I'm going to be posting are for my tape-in. So yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past couple days. Um, just trying to pre-film and um, do better with posting videos in May because April did not go as planned. So yeah, I need to go ahead and start filming these intros for the videos that I'm going to be posting for my tape-ins and then Autumn needs to get ready bed autumn is my niece by the way um and then i need a plan for tomorrow hi you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new hi my name is Shelly. i do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on my channel and i also have a teeny name makeup artist so So in last month's vlog, you guys briefly heard me talk about my mom and what she wanted for her birthday. She basically was just telling me she wanted a healthy food spread. So that's basically what I did. I did a whole breakfast spread with fruits, chocolate, and basically everything that she likes. Um, so that's what I made. And then I did her makeup um, and just spoiled my mom for a day. So that's what this montage is about. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, please excuse my contact paper countertops. I've had them on for two years and it's time for them to be redone. I'm in the process of cleaning up my bathroom. Um, I also need to finish washing clothes and then head to the gym. Earlier, I was just answering emails and stuff like that. And I feel like the last clip that you guys see me vlog was on my mom's birthday. Yeah, so I haven't vlogged pretty much all month because I really haven't been doing anything exciting at all. So... I was like, we need a vlog today. Um, and I'm also trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair because I do have two units coming for sponsorships. Um, so I'm trying not to put heat on my hair. So that's all my hair is back like this. I don't know. I feel like this is making me look, I don't know. This is a very, I don't know, but... <laughs> That's why it's like this because I don't know what to do with it. I was just going to slick it back in um, like a side. Y'all know I'd be putting my hair in a side part slick back bun. But I don't feel like doing that because I'm trying to chill on doing so much stuff to my hair until I have to do it again. But I also need to film this week. So I'm trying to figure out what to do to my hair. And I don't really want to do a slick back for a video because 
it, do it just doesn't give, you know? Enough of me talking, I need to finish cleaning this bathroom. I might do a little montage of me cleaning up, but I really don't have clothes on, so I might not do that. I might do some errands just so I could take you guys with me today and get some vlog footage. But other than that, I'm not really doing much, so yeah. <laughs> Let me start cleaning up because I'm at this point I'm wildly gagging. I got a feeling for you. Brought me to you. Yeah, you did bad. Look what your mind's imagination can do. Make a shit true. Yeah, you do bad. So let me take away your pain. Give me all of your emotions. Land it like a plane on my back if you can't hold it. Like a spot of dream that you manifest it slowly. So fuck a fantasy. This your motherfucking moment. to-do list today um of course i've already started my day it's like the second half of my day because you guys know that i work in the morning if you guys want to see my morning routine i put it in last month's vlog so i will link that vlog above so i need to go to the gym so i'm i'm about to be on my way to do that now after i like eat this banana and make my pre-workout then after this gym, I need to go clean out my car, like vacuum it. My car really doesn't get junky, it just get it just gets sandy, if that makes sense. It needs to be washed on the outside because it looks a little dusty um, and vacuumed out. So I'm gonna do that. And then I also need to go to Sephora and return the Too Faced lip injection lip plumper lip plumper whatever it was i'm going to return that because i don't like it um yeah i just didn't enjoy it at all um i know it was supposed to sting but since my allergies are always on 10 that's another thing that i need to do forgot to take my allergy medicine so i'm gonna do that um but yeah since my allergies are already on 10 when i had it on my lips and it was just burning it was just too much stuff going on because my eyes usually are itching and it just it was just irritating me i didn't enjoy it so i'm gonna return it and exchange it out for something else let me just take my in real quick okay so after i clean up my car because i know i'm gonna be sweaty i'm going to come back here pick up my return items because I need to go back to Lowe's and return these light bulbs because I'm trying to find some light bulb to go in my room that are bright enough because you guys would like my room to be a little bit brighter <laughs> because I do be vlogging in my room sometimes so I need to find some brighter lights but the lights that I've been finding are yellow. I don't mind the yellow light bulbs because it's my room and I feel like it should be calm when I'm trying to, you know, go to sleep. And I just don't want a very bright blue light in my room, which is what I'm returning because I brought two. I don't know if y'all seen it. I was vlogging yesterday, but I, I wasn't on the vlog. I was just showing y'all what I was doing. So um, I brought two. And one of them are super, I don't know, I just don't like it. It seems very blue to me. I put one, one um, scoop. So I'm trying to find something that's like in the middle, not too warm and not too white or blue. So that's what I'm going to be returning today, trying to figure that out. Who knew shopping for lights would be like this intricate? Oh. 
Y'all, um, Autumn got her pictures back. Did I show y'all? Did I show y'all? I don't think I showed y'all. No, I didn't show y'all. Hold on, let me, where are they? They came out so cute, but I think they edited out her ponytail and I don't appreciate that. And she didn't appreciate that. Hold on, let me show y'all. All right, y'all, I can't find them. So I will show y'all later. You can't even sit in peace. Cause all of these niggas be on you Don't just say you're like me Yeah The one that you call and you talk to Girl I'll see my world we Hey y'all, I just made it back from the gym Well, me and Autumn just made it back from the gym Um, she just made herself some Well, an uh, omelet with cheese mozzarella cheese and i just made myself a <laughs> i cannot talk i just made myself a peanut butter sandwich with bananas and after this i have to hurry up and get my shower because i need to go vote for our mayor so i'm gonna do that and then do the rest of the errands that i have to do today i totally didn't realize the last day to vote was today well, it's today, so I gotta go do that. And then I still need to go to Sephora, and I still need to go to Lowe's. And I think that's all of my errands for today. And then we'll be back at the house, and I'll probably be editing for the rest of the night. I still haven't got myself a water pitcher, so it's just in this. Yeah, the workout was good. I did cardio. Autumn did cardio and she ran for like a good solid 10 minutes and we worked on some sprints. So yeah, it was a good workout. Oh. Wednesday, May 18th. It's 2.51 and I'm running late to the gym as always. I think the last thing you all seen yesterday was me maybe at Sephora. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to put this on. I don't know if that's what's in. But I just have these Nike, can y'all yeah, probably can't see me, but I have these Nike leggings on and they're super I don't know why pants come this high on me. And it's not like my boobs are like sagging. It's just, I don't know, so um, I have to fold them down a little bit. I feel like I wanna fold them down some more, but I think this is fine. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I wanna put this sweat band on. Um, I don't really know. But yeah, the last thing you all seen was me at Sephora, if I'm not mistaken. 
And then we went to go get some pizza from Walmart because Autumn really likes this um, cheese pizza that Walmart sells. It's a stuffed crust cheese pizza. So we picked that up. Um, and then we just chilled the rest of the night. I don't know. If, I didn't even edit yesterday. I fell asleep. <laughs> After I was done with everything. And then today, Autumn had her award ceremony. And I went to that. And now, I'm on my way to the gym. I have stuff to do at five. So, yeah, and I don't wanna miss this um, call. So I need to go ahead and all right, y'all. I'm going to make my pre-workout and go to the gym. Yeah. Leave me out the comments, leave me out the nonsense, speaking out of context, people need some content, niggas trying to keep up, shit is not a contest, whipping bands concept, heaven sent, God sent, at least it's what my mom says, proof is in the progress, money's not an object. Hi, right. guys, change of plans, I'm going into Glow's to exchange these white bulbs that I got, so yeah. This one is warm. I want one that's like in the middle. I think this is the one that I already have at the house. And it's 27. But I want it to be like in the middle. And then this is the one that I'm returning because I did not like it because it's super blue. So I just don't know. I don't know. 500. This is gonna be blue. I feel like this is gonna be blue. I want it to be like in the middle, you know? Hey y'all, so now I'm at Macy's looking for these Kate Spade slippers. I'm trying to lock my car. Um, yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing. I thought they was closed, I'm about to say. You guys. They're so cute. But I'm not looking for those. These are cute. Y'all. Oh, look at these. They're so pretty, but they're not my size. Oh my gosh. They're definitely way too small. <laughs> they're size 10. Oh my gosh. They're so cute though. If only they had like a size 11. Good afternoon y'all, it is Thursday the 19th, 7.30, 7.31. Um, and I'm on my way to go pick up a few groceries from Aldi's and then go to the gym. Because I was, honestly, I was supposed to be at the gym earlier but I didn't go earlier my brushes which i am going to show you guys and then i already finished prepping my kit and sanitizing i'm not going to show you guys that today i might try to show you guys it tomorrow when i'm done with my client um but right now i need to you know get a move on and get in bed so i can wake up at a decent time i'm also going to be taking pictures tomorrow that's not a service that i usually promote 
or say that I do because I'm not a photographer. Yes, I can take a picture. Yes, I have a camera, but I don't, I'm not like a photographer. Y'all get what I'm saying? I can take a picture, you know what I'm saying? So if I have a client that wants to get their pictures taken um, and I'm comfortable enough with them, then yes, I would, I will offer that service, but I don't usually like promote it or say anything about it because I'm just, I don't know, it's, 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 I don't want to say it's not my thing, um, but I'm more confident in makeup, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, let me go ahead and finish cleaning these brushes and let you guys see how I clean my brushes. It's not anything groundbreaking or nothing like that. Um, I just feel like you guys may ask how I clean my brushes. I'm getting these Lysol wipes. I'm going to wipe down the, um... Holder first, so it's already clean. So this is the holder. I got this a while ago from Coastal Scents, and I'm just gonna wipe down the inside. Oh, because sometimes, you know, it gets dirty, so I like to just wipe it all down and just make sure it's sanitized. Same thing with this one. Go on the inside of it and just wipe it down. Now I can't even see what I'm doing. So, yeah. And I'm just gonna wipe down my lash applicators, sanitize those, and just wipe these scissors down. Oh, please excuse the TV. My um, niece and nephew, it's the summertime right now, so. They are here, living their best life, you know? <laughs> okay, so everything is sanitized. If you guys are interested in what's in my kit, I will link um, the last MUA vlog. I think that's when I showed you guys my kit. What is wrong with my leg? And I know you guys might ask about the brushes. I get my brushes from everywhere. I have some Fenty, I have some Real Technique. A lot of Morphe, a few MAC brushes, um, a few Coastal Sense brushes. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. Let me wash these brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna finish washing these brushes. I did already start off washing them. So usually they look a bit more dirty, but like I said, I already started washing them. So the first thing I like to do is wet the brush with like warm water. I hope you guys can hear me. So I usually like to wet the brush with warm water and then I'll get some soap. Any soap that I have on hand that's um, disinfects. That's what I typically like to use, put them in my hand and then put them on my hand and then swirl the brush around in it. And I just set it off to the side. And I do that to every brush until I am done. So I soap it up first and then once I soap every brush up, then I'll go in and rinse the brush out. I know I did get another question about um, how often do I wash my brushes in between clients. And usually in between clients, I'll just use a brush cleaner. Usually I'm using the Cinema Secret ones, but I am running out of that. And I had to, you know, just hurry up and buy this because I have a client in the morning. But usually I'm using the Cinema Secret brush cleaner in between my clients um, or I'm using the Dante. But for the past year, I think I've been using this one. To rinse them out, I just keep swirling it around in my hands. If I feel like my hands are getting too raw, I hope you guys can hear me. If I feel like my hands is getting too raw, I just use this little mat here and um, scrub it, like I'll put it in the sink and scrub it out. Especially if I have a lot of brushes that I'm working with, I'll use this and um, get it done a little bit quicker. But majority of the time, I'm just using my hands. And that pretty much does the job. And I'll just set it off to the side. And um, I'm using hot water. Well, warm, I should say warm. And I'll just keep swirling the soap out of the brush until it's clear. If I'm not sure if it's clean, 
I'll just put some more soap and keep swirling it around until the bubbles are clear. Well, not clear, but white. Also, it might look like I'm being very heavy handed with the brushes, um, which I probably am, but I'm not super heavy handed. I'm not like pulling on the brushes. I'm just like, you know, making sure all of the water gets out of it. And you wanna make sure you don't just stick the whole brush in the water because then it will loosen up the glue in here and then it will make this whole brush thing come out depending on how well your brush is made. Now you guys are probably gonna ask me how do I sanitize this part? I just take some alcohol or take a Clorox, Clorox <laughs> wipe um, and wipe it down or I'll take this, wipe it down. And that usually sanitizes it enough for me. And then I also like to pay attention to if there's still product in the brush because sometimes depending on um, what makeup you're using, it can get stuck in the brush. So I just like to make sure I'm looking inside of the brush to make sure, you know, the makeup is actually getting out. Um, and if I feel like there's still some makeup in there, I'll just, you know, keep trying to massage it out. Okay, so I'm pretty much done washing the actual hairs of the brush. So now I'm just going to sanitize the handles, taking a little bit of alcohol, paper towel, and then I'm just going to go and wipe off the handle of the brush and then just put it off to the side. And these do get sanitized one more time right before my client. I guess I'm a jumbo whatever you want to call it, but I just like to be as sanitary as possible when it comes to working on people's faces and I'm close to people's eyes. Even if your clients don't say anything about you being sanitary, they are watching. Some people will be like, oh, did you sanitize that? Um, and some people just won't say anything. So I'm taking a new paper towel because I noticed that this brush um, isn't all the way clean. Take a little bit of this MAC. Um, brush cleaner and try to get this to be as clean as possible, which is another reason why I just prefer the Cinema Secret because it gets all of the makeup out of the brush. I don't know how it does it, but it does it. See, there we go. And voila, everything is ready to go for the morning. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set my brushes up so they can dry by the morning time and turn on the fan. Um, and you wanna make sure you keep the brushes facing downward so that all the um, water can get out of the brushes. So give me a sec and let me set it up and then show you guys. Okay, so I have this towel and these are mainly for my kit so I'm going to just lay it out right here by my sink area and then I'm just going to take my brushes and set them up like this hopefully they stay I do feel like there's a lot of water in it I'll just try to Get the excess out. Here's another brush that isn't completely clean. Take a little bit of the Cinema Secret. And it comes right out. Now the brush is clean. All right, so this is how the brushes are sitting up there. And then I'm just going to turn on this fan and put it on high. And it should help dry the brushes um, by the morning time. All right, you guys, so I'm at my client's house. I cut off the vlog because 
you know, I'm at her house for privacy reasons. But I'll try to talk to you guys once I get in there. on Sunday at one o'clock. Yeah, it's so many people in this Audi's and I'm just like, I'm not used to this. Like too many people. I look a mess so I'm gonna get off camera. Bye. Hey y'all, so it is Monday. It's probably past four o'clock if I'm not mistaken and I'm about to go to the gym. I haven't really done anything today cause I've just been tired yesterday took me out so yeah i did ashley's makeup yesterday and then we went out to take some pictures downtown to update her um headshots and um i guess i think her linkedin if i'm not mistaken um and she has a foundation that she started queens and me if i'm not mistaken um that we were talking about as well that she wants me to speak at and she wants me to speak about like confidence and how confidence comes into play being an influencer um stuff like that and i'm just like I, I was thinking about it i am thinking about speaking but i've never done a speaking engagement especially when it comes to like speaking about confidence or just speaking in general yes i've taught one class before like makeup plus at Mac um but I've never had like a speaking engagement or anything like that so that's another thing that we were talking about yesterday um but yeah I am really thinking about doing it and it's crazy because her colors are pink and I literally just ordered a pink blazer and I'm just like god I don't know what you're doing but I'm scared <laughs> I don't know uh, but yeah, this is what I've been thinking about. Um, yesterday was a good day. Um, tiring, which is why I don't... Man, I don't want to say I don't like taking clients, but taking clients... Y'all seen my MUA vlogs. Y'all seen the stuff that goes on, and it's just, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Hey, y'all, so I'm just running some quick errands. Um, I'm out looking for some stuff for my hair. So I found this because a lot of people have been using it and um, I was coming to Ulta to get the stuff that um, Trish used in my hair to straighten it, but I cannot find it. Can y'all see me? I think y'all can. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard me, but basically I was trying to find the shampoo that Trish used in my hair when I got my tape-ins. Um, so that's what I went in there looking for. I ended up getting this dry shampoo because I've been seeing um, some people use this. So I was like, hmm, let me try it out myself and see if it works. This is definitely more on the pricier side than what you guys normally see me use. Um, this one was $32, I thought it was 25. So yeah, it ended up being 32, well, 34, 24 after tax. And I usually pay like maybe $10 for dry shampoo. So I'm gonna try it out. Um, but yeah, I went in there looking for the shampoo that Trish used in my hair, which is Design Essentials the Lavender. I don't, I don't remember what it was called. I have the pictures on my phone, but basically it wasn't in there. So um, I did see the One United spray that I used in my hair. So if you guys are interested in that spray, they still sell it at Ulta. Okay, I am in JCPenney's now, but this section over here is closed the salon section but they have the shampoo i'm looking for y'all see it i'm just going back here is the alarm gonna go <gasps> oh the alarm is off i need this i really hope they don't think i'm still in but is this the conditioner yep that's the conditioner and i think this is what one of the items that she used so i'm taking this also like this i actually need this now 8 45 and 15 minutes jcp will be closing for tonight again the time is 8 45 and jcp will be closing in 15 minutes however tomorrow we'll be at shopping convenience 
Thank you. Have a great night. We'll see you soon. Is that this morning? I think. Hello. Can I check out? Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, My baby, can you bring the bag you with you? Oh. I don't see the. Now it says that those are on sale online. Um, um they're on sale. These two are on sale for eight. Okay, yeah, that's the price that I see. Okay. I don't know about that one. The this smallest one's on sale for six twenty. Okay, yeah. Hold on. You want to see if you can use that twenty five percent off? Um, sure. <laughs> this is why I need to get a car holder. How much did it come to? I can't put 2468. Take Apple Pay. I can't find my card right now. I was literally in the middle of doing my like maintenance. I guess you can say my self maintenance, doing my brows because my brows was looking crazy. And I was like, I probably should be vlogging this since I probably won't make another like video. A dedicated video on this routine for a while but I think it will be like good vlog footage so yeah that's what I'm doing just fixing up my brows it's Monday by the way I don't usually vlog on Mondays but hey why not vlog on a Monday what am I looking for I was about to tell you guys what I put on my face beforehand but um can't find it. It was the first A though. Here it is. All right, so I moisturized my face with this beforehand, and I'm just like shaving my face up a little bit. I'm smirking because this feels like funny to show you guys, but this is what I be doing. Plus, I have a whole video on this, so if you guys want to dedicate a video, actually, I think I have two. Yeah. I have two, a sick day one and a like for real maintenance one, but yeah. I'm just gonna do this and then probably go to Bath and Body Works because I seen a dirty hamper there that I wanna get because my dirty hamper doesn't look, <laughs> it looks like a regular dirty hamper. And I don't like it being out, so I was like, maybe if I get one that looks nice, I wouldn't mind it being out, you know? Because I feel like I need a bigger one. I'm also in the process of trying to redo my closet, like giving away stuff or selling stuff on my Poshmark. So I'll link my Poshmark down below because I will start adding some stuff up there because I really need to get rid of all of this excess clothes that I have because my closet is not that big and I'm re-signing my lease so um, it's not like I'm getting a bigger closet anytime soon so I need to maximize my closet space that I will be having for the next year unless I happen to move. Um, these razors, it's called a um, facial diffuser. And I got them from CVS and they're by Revlon. I literally just got this because it's white <laughs> or cream and it goes with my bathroom. And that's literally why I got it. I was looking for the Sephora um, face diffusers, but every time I go into Sephora, I cannot find them and i didn't feel like ordering it online because i'm the type of person that likes to see stuff in person so if i have to order online i'm probably not gonna order it or it's gonna take me a while to order it so yeah okay i think i'm done i'll probably do some more later on i was just looking at my face and i'm just like girl you need to <laughs> do some self-care not even self-care you can do some self-maintenance because your brows are looking crazy and when my brows grow out 
I don't have an arch at all. And I wish I would have showed you guys like how my brows was looking beforehand, but like, yeah, no. Still using Curology. Not sponsored at all. I just like using it because it works and I don't have to think about it. But I do want to switch up my moisturizer. I think I'm going to go back to my Clinique moisturizer that I used to use all the time because I just feel like the Curology moisturizer does not moisturize me enough, especially in the summertime and pollen season because my skin is like super textured and dry. Even though you guys might not think my skin is textured in person, is a whole different story. Not that like I look worse in person, you can just see texture more in person and that's what I really be talking about because I don't really break out too often but the texture of my skin be over here looking like sandpaper and I'd be like mm -mm. I also need to exfoliate my lips as well I just watched that clip back and noticed I said facial diffuser I mean facial diffuser that's what it's called These things right here, they're called facial diffuser. At least that's what that one is called. <laughs> I really said diffuser. I'm weak. Okay, now I'm just putting on some toner from Dermalogica. So now I'm going in with the serum. And I've been really, 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 really loving the serum because it's so moisturizing. And I've noticed that I haven't been using moisturizer. And I think it's because of how concentrated serums are. This is a hydrating serum. So I think that's why I haven't really been using um, moisturizer because this has really been doing everything. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to be done with this. I do go in with a... Um, sunscreen after okay I'm dressed a little bit of mascara this is from I think Anastasia I kind of want to say Fenty because the Fenty bottle kind of looks like this as well but I think it's Anastasia this is what I'm wearing um these pants are from Express, I got these a long time ago, very fun and cute. This is the outfit, and I'm gonna throw my clear heels on. Not heels, but my um, okay. All right, so here's a better view of the outfit. Um, I totally forgot to fix the little thing on the shoe because it's coming off. I need to screw it back on, but yeah, this is the outfit. Kind of wish it was heels, but I mean, it's cute, comfortable basic but like fun hey y'all so i didn't make it to bed bath and beyond because i was pressed for time and i was taking my time and i had to be to work so didn't have time to go to you know bed bath and beyond and i think i was calling it bath and body works but y'all know what i meant so um i'm in my closet now because i'm really trying to condense it and just figure out how i'm going to maximize the space in this closet um I do think I'm gonna get some IKEA drawers and put it in here, but I'll I'll get into that. Basically, what I'm doing now is just going through. <laughs> I think I want to go through all my shoes and like show y'all. And I don't I don't think I have a lot of shoes, but for this closet, I have a lot of shoes. <laughs> this is my work stuff. Okay. So when it comes to like me washing my clothes, I automatically hang it up right here so that I can like um, steam it if it needs to be steamed. Um, and so it's already right here so I can like grab and go. I don't know what my voice is doing right now. Please excuse it. One of my, one of my favorite shirts from Zara got messed up in my washing machine. And this is the second time something like this has happened with the washing machines at this complex. I don't know what to start with. I have my gym stuff in here. 
yoga mat. I have to get rid of this box. But there's something wrong with me and I don't want to get rid of the boxes. You know? Please excuse me if my like my bodysuit is not buckled because for why? Um but yeah. There's something wrong with me and I just don't like getting rid of stuff. Like boxes and stuff. Oh this is my red rock. Is this supposed to be in this box? Okay, these are my, I thought these were both empty. My Cortezes, they're so dirty now, but I don't want to get rid of them. I probably should because they're low key too small. Oh, it does say Cortezes. Okay, these are my Cortezes. These are my red Hirachis that I got like probably in 2019. Progress. But what I'm trying to do is basically put shelves up here since I can't build a closet. Or maybe I can build a closet. I should probably put some sweatpants on. Maybe I can build like something up here. But honestly, I want to do it the most cost efficient way. Um, so I'm thinking about putting some shelves up here. I'll probably put my inspo pictures on the um, screen so that you guys can see what where my mind is going, you know? Um, so shelves up here for my shoes um and then a three dresser two three dresser drawers right here so i can put stuff in it so that i can get all of these boxes out of my closet you know um and then on this wall right here i'm thinking about putting shelves for shoes that i want to display stop it right here and then have this area be where my um where my dirty hamper basket is because this dirty hamper basket just moves all around my room sometimes it's over there in a the corner where i film at sometimes it's right here beside my bed sometimes it's in the closet when the closet is clean i mean where the fuck should i really even start i got holes that i'm keeping in the dark i got my niggas cross the street living large Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps was a fact, so they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I could tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to say. I got Lil Max with me, he the way. I knew this was gonna be like a bad idea because I'm not getting rid of anything. This is not going to go how I wanted it to go. And then even like all of this. You got all of these clothes? Where am I really gonna wear this to? And then, I think it's too big. Yeah, I got it in a size 2X. Well, it might fit now, honestly. Like, why is this so hard, y'all? <laughs> why is this so hard? I really got y'all in my closet. I don't want y'all to think I'm a hoarder or anything, but I already, like, put a whole bunch of stuff in a giveaway. Like, I have a whole box full of clothes to you know get away it's just like certain pieces in my closet that i haven't been able to wear yet um and just certain pieces in general i just don't want it uh, like this didn't even wear it didn't even wear this this is my only bathing suit cover up can't get rid of that um i just got this dress but yeah, my closet is like pretty organized and color coordinated. It's the neutrals, beige, black, white, gray. Yeah, shoes down there. Oh my goodness. I really don't know what to do. I don't know why I thought I could do this in like one, one video. But this is going to have to be in parts because I don't know what to do. Yeah, let me figure out what I'm doing and let me see if I'm gonna like try to get through of some of this tonight or just come back in the morning. Hi you guys, so it's like a day and a half later and I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog right here because I have a bunch of stuff to do. I have my first speaking engagement tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Like, who am I? Who am I? Um, I'm going to be speaking at the um, Queens and Me Summer Summit um, and I'm gonna be speaking to 
I think up and coming freshmen for high school um, and high school students. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So if you guys are watching this video tomorrow, because I'm going to post it tomorrow um, and we'll get back to the closet stuff, another vlog because that was just a mess. If you have any encouraging words for me for my first speaking engagement, leave me some advice. I've never done this before. The only thing that I've really done close to this is like teach a makeup class at mac so um yeah this time around i'm speaking in front of um younger girls and and i'm and i'm and i'm going to be speaking about confidence so yeah i don't want to make this too long like i said we'll get back to the closet another day if you guys are interested in the hair um a video will be up probably after my tape ends or if they want it to go up sooner it will probably go up in between you know all of the tape and content happy mother's day to all the mothers if you graduated or did anything that you are um happy about even if you didn't accomplish anything congratulations um i hope you guys are doing good again thank you guys so 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 much for watching today's vlog like i said wish me luck on my first speaking engagement thank you so much ashley if you watch this vlog for the opportunity um and y'all will probably see a little bit of the summit in next month's vlog or if you follow me on instagram i might put some clips on there if it goes well so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this month's vlog i really appreciate you guys for watching i love y'all um like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video